Briefing Government House correspondents on the outcome of the council meeting, the State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Barrister Andrew Enwata, emphasized that in the last two weeks, the state has not recorded any Lassa fever case. He also disclosed the decision of the State Executive Council to relocate the State Civil Service Recreational Center from a residential area to a more suitable location at Oguola Crescent. Honorable Commissioner for Health, who is also a member of the state, Tax force on last half we've noted, we've not had any new incidents, and that is why you know the Edosi Reserve Council resolved that henceforth the environmental health officers who have been given the task of ensuring that you know we have almost a zero case of Lassa fever, you know, in Edo State. Of course, moving forward, they'll be the ones to be held responsible for any new outbreak. And also at today's ESCO, um, it was resolved by council that the Edo uh, State Civil Service Recreation Center, situated along about five Osavedi Avenue, be relocated to a new premises at Ogola Crescent. And of course, the reason for this relocation is not far-fetched. That area is purely residential. On his part, the Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Security, Mr. Stephen Idarian, said that companies allocated land by the state government for oil palm program have taken over the initiatives and started developing their farm land. Companies that were given lands for the oil palm program have taken the initiative. They have started developing their lands, land preparation and nursery development are in top gear. And um, most of them, too, uh, are still doing their community engagement, are also doing that very well. In fact, the council was briefed about one or two communities who refused to also cooperate. We were in, in, encouraging those communities to please, as a matter of urgency, to cooperate with our investors. Um, please don't also forget that there's a global um, issue with food supply now. Uh, the Malaysian government, the Indonesian government has banned oil export. That means that we must, as a matter of urgency, begin to drive the development oil of oil palm plantation in Nigeria. He said some communities have refused to cooperate with the investors. Patience Osaugiwa reporting.